waiting ice side. It is Kevin Stenland who iced the game away with that empty net goal. Kevin, you just heard me talking about those final minutes, all of the situations that you guys had to deal with. What was going through your head when you finally scored that empty net goal to know that you guys were going to win this game tonight? Oh, of course, it's a... Uh, uh, a little bit of a relief. Uh, I don't know. We we fought all all game. Uh, I think it would uh, it was a good game from us. Um, um, we're happy with him. Yeah, and coming into this game, obviously San Jose looking for their first win of the season. You knew that they were going to be a desperate team. How were you guys able to overcome their desperation and make sure you got this win tonight? Uh, I think we just uh, wanted to play our game. Uh, be fast on the puck, uh, skating, um, just uh, play our game, uh, focus on what we can, can do. Uh, so it worked up. Hey, Kevin, Ed Jovanoski here. The question is, were you trying to shoot five hole there? Yeah, no, <laughs> always go five hole. Right. The question I have for you, come into this new situation. I, I know other organizations, you know, you get traded or you sign somewhere. What was impressed you about the Florida Panthers organization thus far? And second to that, what player that has been your core guy that's been here that really you look to has impressed you thus far this year as well? Uh, I think the whole organization is very close. Uh, everyone is uh, very nice to you when you step into the locker room or even the, the arena. Uh, so everyone is really close. That's a big part of it. Uh, and obviously as a center, I, I look up to Barkov a bit. Uh, just watching him uh, practice, uh, skate on, uh, on games, uh, everything uh, off ice, on ice. Uh, it's just, uh, it just a joy uh, to watching him. Well, and speaking of Alexander Barkov, I know we got word late that obviously he wasn't going to be able to play tonight because of an illness. I know that's so tough, especially when a team loses their captain and just everything that he does. How much do you feel like guys collectively, you know, really challenge themselves to step up in the absence of Barkov? Oh, that's kind of a team we want to be. Uh, if someone's injured or away, uh, uh, someone else is stopping up. So it's uh, that's a team win. What did you think of Anthony Stolarz tonight? I'm sure not easy for a goalie to just <laughs> jump in there, but he had a great performance. What did you think of Stolarz's contributions? No, he was, he was great today. Uh, we needed him uh, in key moments of the game, uh, and then he stepped up. Uh, it was a really good game for him. For you personally, I know we've talked a lot about the chemistry that your line has had, maybe having to ship or switch up things a little bit tonight with no Barkov, but... What do you feel just personally has been your greatest strength to start this season? What do you feel like you've been able to add to this team early on? Uh, I just want to play my game, fast, fast, fast game. Uh, be strong on faceoffs. Uh, help the team in in penalty killing and uh, maybe some uh, power play too. Uh, just keep doing what I'm doing. Well, we certainly appreciate the time. Thanks so much for joining us. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's obviously exciting, you know, uh, it's why you work hard in practice just to stay sharp, so uh, when your name's called, you're ready to go, but, uh, you know, definitely had a little jitters going out there and having the crowd, but, uh, you know, obviously it's a familiar, a familiar team that uh, I've played a couple times before, and, uh, you know, I know the guys would, would show up in front of me, and that's exactly what they did. That's a unique skill to have, to be able to, you know, wait and then get in there and be ready to go. What, how have you kind of mastered that over the years? Uh, I mean, just injuries and uh, coming back from injuries and kind of just having the rehab, and then obviously with the uh, the COVID year, I was on the taxi squad with, uh, with Anaheim there for uh, the entire season I think I played seven games at the end of the year so it's just uh, it's just a mentality and just being able to uh, recognize the situation and just try to take the positives from it I gotta ask that that last sequence uh, sequence on the, the the PK they're looking for the puck what was going through your head as you're trying to find it in that uh, I was just trying to you know pounce on it and cover it I saw uh, I think Barbanov was kind of playing playing with it with his hand so I kind of wanted to just grab it before you know he, he uh, sent it over to someone or hit it off one of our guys so uh, you do whatever you can to keep the puck out of the net is it just reaction at that point or is it just or how are you able to yeah, I just kind of tried to uh, get my body uh, on the goal line, just try to take up as much uh, space as I can, seal the ice, and just try to find the puck and cover it. Uh, and then, I mean, playing behind a team that's dealing with in the interest how tough is that with the line guys? And how, what does it mean for them to go out there? You know, 
Well, it's obviously it's opportunity for guys to step up. Uh, obviously, you know, we obviously missed Barky tonight, but, uh, you know, Mackie came in and played uh, one hell of a game. You know, he had that uh, that breakaway to kind of get us going there in the uh, in the second. And, uh, you know, go Lundy, he stepped up tonight. I think he played up against their, uh, you know, the other team's uh, top line. So, and, you know, credit to a lot of the guys who stepped up tonight. The schedule gets pretty crazy in November. How much are you looking forward to more starts now coming up? Uh, yeah, you know, it's, uh, like I said, it's just the mindset and just being ready. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, you want to play as many games as possible, but uh, at the same time, too, you know, you have to just stay sharp, be ready, and, uh, you know, just bide your time. I mean, obviously, Bob's been playing well this year, so, uh, you know, we just want to continue to work hard and uh, continue this uh, little run here. That was a tight one today. I mean, last second, empty net goal, but how are the guys playing in front, in front of you? I mean, first game, just getting more comfortable with them. How was the uh, defense floor and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously I had a couple mishandles uh, early on, maybe just a little jitters, but, uh, you know, I kind of settled in nicely, and the defense did a really good job in the second half of the game, just kind of talking to me, and uh, when I go back and uh, stop uh, pucks behind the net, and, uh, you know, they did a really good job, too, blocking shots. I mean, uh, Meeks is taking some off the uh, off the head, and uh, guys are really laying out there, moving guys in front, making my job a lot easier, so I really appreciate it. Thank you. Guys, thanks for Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just whatever it takes. I mean, I mean, Soli came up big for us tonight. Um, you know it's nice for, uh, for 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 special teams to to show up when it mattered because um, you know it hasn't really gone our way, but uh, we were able to stick with it tonight. You've had a lot of hot streaks in your career, but what does it mean to have one coming this early in the season? I don't think I've ever had it at this time of the year, so um, you know it's 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 nice. It's it almost uh, you know when it doesn't go at the, at the start of the year. Um, you know, it's a lot worse than what's in the middle of the year because you got nothing to nothing to uh, fall back on. So, you know, it just adds to that pressure. So, um, you know, be able to start like this is, is, is obviously nice uh, personally as well. What do you credit the most for the goals? Obviously, a lot coming around the net, a lot of good placement. Is there any maybe one characteristic that really ties them all together? Uh, I don't think so. I, I mean, just, you know, sometimes the puck falls for you. Um, you know, playing with some pretty good players that, you know, finding the areas and... You know, you get some bounces here and there, and you get on a bit of a streak. Obviously, playing without Barkov, that's a big blow for the team. But just see how all you guys step up and everyone do thing you do to be able to put together a full performance. How big is that? Absolutely, it's 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 nothing new for us. Uh, you know, it just kind of builds the identity we're trying to create and and and, and in the way we're trying to play. Um, you know, it doesn't matter who it's against. Doesn't matter what time of year. You got a one goal lead in the third period. You do whatever it, whatever you can to to, to come up with the two points, and we were able to come come up with it tonight. And you've played on lines with Lundell, but see him take on the top line do that he's with Mark Bell, just his ability to get up there and just his growth. I think I think it was great for him tonight. Yeah, he's you know get some confidence going. Um, you know, like I said, well, you, you know I've been there when it hasn't quite gone gone at the start of the year, and it it kind of adds to that frustration. Um, you know, so for him to feel the puck a little bit makes him you know really solid pace tonight. Um, you know, hopefully the Start coming as well. Thanks, Sam. That, right, to be off that long and to be solid. But he's earned it because he worked really hard. And he did th straight through camp, and, and he's, he knows the job so that he knows those practices have to be his games, and he really um, prepared himself very well. And he looked in the net tonight the way he has in practice, a big man, but efficient. Uh, not a lot of scramble to his game, but uh, he was really good. Made some really good saves. Massive effort on the PK played in that third. Needed it, yeah. I mean, Lusty in the box and Barkov out. And, um, the Chuck fills in on the hole. So um, we've been fighting for it. I mean, we got a minute 55 of the first one killed, but it's in your mind now. Confidence is just as important on the kill as it is on the power play. So. Uh, good for those men that can feel good about that. How do you come away from a win like this? Is it just a win? I mean, no. I, I, I mean, we were much faster tonight in our offensive game and our attack and trying to drive pucks to the net. I mean, we're not expecting perfect games, but um, I was much happier with the overall. Um, uh, commitment's not the right, but they, they really stuck to an idea. We, we just looked a lot faster offensively, and um, yeah, I, I'm happy with it. It's a good NHL win. We're not critiquing. You take there, there, there's there's a you can have guys on the blue line out, but you can't have guys on the blue line and center ice out because that's the bottom three of your defensive zone coverage. We had a few uh, mishaps there, but not too too many. And and uh, uh, Stoli was really good when we needed him to, to, to handle that, and it's going to look like that for a while. Yeah. And, and the ice was tilted in your favor for a while. We were, st yeah, we were strong for a long time. Our forecheck was really good. I thought you know, guys like Ryan Lomberg had a really strong game on the forecheck and got the. I, I liked all four lines. I didn't have any complaint with their effort. Um, 
so no i mean i'm it wasn't just a win it was good it was important you you bark off uh, a little bit sick so he couldn't go and uh, benny out and uh, it could have become a real open game if if our guys had allowed that to happen and they didn't they were they were hard on it and uh, how's miko after the face yeah, I think he's. I think he's fine. He got heckled on the way off the ice, so I didn't really see it. And then the guys were chirping him, so I think I think he's fine. We we keep asking about another game for Sam Reiner. How much are you just enjoying watching him have this yeah. variety he's on right now? There's so many small great things tonight. Pulling pucks off the wall, keeping pucks alive, just making the right decision with the pucks all the time. So I'm happy he's getting the payoff at the net because the rest of his game is fantastic. After they point up one nothing, just the importance for Carter to get the game time goal. So when he doesn't, yeah, he's I think. Sure. I think important I mean, because important you get back to your game, right? You can feel, you can kind of relax back into it. I, I don't think that we felt that the goalie was making a whole bunch of, but he made some good saves on us, but we felt there was going to be offense there. I think you can feel it in that kind of game. You didn't have to open it up. That there, We didn't have to change much. We were going to get some good looks. What did you think of Mackie Samusevich's game, especially just fresh off of uh, flying in? Yeah, I, I was really happy with it. I thought he looked a little bit quicker. It's not a speed thing for him. It's a speed of the game thing. So he, he, he did some simpler straight line things and showed enough speed to get in, in behind the D for the most part. Uh, so I thought that was his best game. Not a lot of minutes kind of more had to do with when the penalties call and the timeouts call, but I liked his game tonight, yeah. And it looked like he drew that penalty shot. I mean, no call, but stole the puck. Yeah, I'm not biting it? on that at all, but <laughs> did thank you. Get you. Any, did you get any explanation no. from them? Nothing. No, I'm nothing. not saying a word to the referees. Oh, I just ask if they said <laughs> something to swear at my feet on the bench. That's what I'm doing. Right. No, <laughs> I'm not doing it. What, what did you think of the play, though, from Mackey to get on the breakaway, though? So the, the, he's got, I mean, maybe slippery because he's never going to be blinding fast, but he's quick enough and he can get through people, right? And that's, that's his gift. He's, he's, he, can get, he can play in some tight areas. He's, got, he's shifty and he's got some good hands. He's going to be a real good player. Pre-game, he talked about Anton Lundell needing to be able to drive along yeah. for him to be able to step up and be in that, that top line spot where with Barkov out just to yeah. see him be able to hold that. You know, a real important start was he was the lone strong face-off man, and we, we didn't have a lot. I mean, that, you're critiquing the game. We struggled in the center ice and circle, and he was became very, very necessary as the game went on to take some defensive draws, so he was good. Is this a good time for you guys to have a day off? It sounded like you guys had a couple guys. Yeah, we got to. Yeah, you're starting to worry about it because there's three or four playing with it. We we think these days will be important to us get back right. Yeah, and Barco, I know you're not a doctor, but is it anything that? You no, know, it's just or? no. I mean, we're we're quite hopeful that he plays against Seattle, so we're not. But we're just no more in 24 hours. You know, how it goes if you, hopefully he feels a little better. Thank you, okay, Thanks, guys. You. All right. 